Okay, we're going to do a quick update on the Radio 60 here. I have prepped the chassis for sanding and actually started the sanding. Masked off all the tube sockets, the uh, wires for the tuning condenser, covered up the escutcheon for the serial number, sealed up the bottom with this green painter's tape, I also did the same thing here at the back. I've already sanded it with some 150 grit. I didn't have any 200, so the next step here is 320. And I'm going to go over this. And you know, it's looking pretty good. It's a little rough. Here was the worst area. Um, and this is just where the uh, lacquer thinner that I used to clean everything up took the paint right off. Other areas it didn't do that, but it uh, took it right off because I was using it to clean the layers of dirt off. And I'm going to keep working at it and then show you what it looks like when it's all sanded. Here's what it looks like after a quick going over with the 150 and the 320 grit. So, I also cleaned it off again with a little lacquer thinner, make it all nice and clean here. And I'm going to try the 400 and see if that makes any appreciable difference. And then probably spray coat it real quick with uh, the um, primer because if you don't get primer on this bare metal really quickly, it starts to rust again really quickly. All right, everything's all cleaned up. Gonna primer it with this spray, Rust-Oleum, Rusty Metal Primer, just like everything else. Well, not everything else was spray. There was brush. Sorry about the shakiness. And first coat. So we'll go light on the first couple coats. And yeah, I know I got that grommet in there, but I don't really care about the grommet. They're all being replaced anyway, because they are all no good. And that is why I also took and made sure I masked everything off. So I have to leave that sit for about 10 minutes and then put another quick light coat on and then it waits for 24 hours and then another coat and then so on and so forth. And I really do like this. I mean, you could actually put that over the rusted metal, but I don't like doing that. I like at least getting most of the rust off. And you don't want to put it over anything that's loose anyway, because it'll just flake right off. But the rust oleum stuff is good, as one friend of mine said. I think the guys like us that do restoration of TVs and radios and, and other stuff, and even cars and that, and we keep rust oleum in business. So, uh, all right, give it another five minutes and then another quick coat, and then that's all for today.